you think so? It, if you get it as a puppy, I think for the most part it'll just be a big dog. I'm not gonna find that out, Josh. I mean, but, but like, like if I had to take something in as a baby and raise it, I'm not raising a bear. <laughs> I don't trust a bear even if I raised it from a baby, but I trust the wolf maybe. A bear will slap your ass <laughs> and it a, a bear, a bear will kill you while playing. Look, I have a baby that watches my vlog. Okay, my sweet baby Xander, all the way in Belize, he watches my vlog. You can't be cussing. That baby watches my vlogs. That, that, that's not curse. Um, yes, it is. A baby, a baby does. A baby A S S is a bad word, Xander. Don't say it. A baby <laughs> bear doesn't even need to be angry at you to kill you. It just needs to play with you and slap you. Once I know, vlogs. I know. Josh, when we when we stop right now, I gotta get on and see what that he threw at me. Some kind of bug came in the car with him, and he just batted it to me. And I swear it's biting me. It might be my mind, but whatever it is, it's, it's biting it's me. Your, it's your mind, probably. Cause people do that, like when I see spider videos. Let's see. Okay, I'll see you tonight. That should be a wasp or a hornet. It's probably some kind of bee or something that I'm allergic yeah, to. You can't stop traffic like this. I ain't got no EpiPen. Let's see. Let's see nothing. It's probably off my pants. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Get the scanner. Thanks, Shashito. All right. See you tonight, baby. Bye. I don't know what he did, guys, but he threw some bug at me, and it's not no um, no, no, no June bug, cause it's not June yet. But it felt wet like that. I guess I'm trying to get rid of you. Huh? I know he's trying to kill me, y'all. You not got the million yet. Trying to kill me, kill me. Well, let me tell you all what happened today. So ever since Jada's song came out, February the 14th. Today is what? March the what? 12th. Jesus, it's been a month since Jada's EP came out. So ever since then, I texted Miss Sherry and asked her if she would tweet out about it. And I never got a response and that's not like her. She usually responds within a couple of days or even within a couple of minutes. Most of the time it's within 10, 15 minutes, but sometimes it's a couple of days. And, and I try not to bug, of course. I try not to, I, every time I tweet Sherry Shepard, it's always something uplifting. I'm praying for you and Jeffrey. God bless you. I see you doing that grind. Be prosperous, be well and prosper. You know, so that type of stuff. So um, she texted me out of the blue today. Jada and Colin were flanking me at either side because I'm doing something with my website. Back to this website, guys. And so she says, oh my God, I am so sorry it took me this long to get back with you, but I was going through some crises. And so I want you to know that I'm listening to Jada's music right now and I love Ego. Everybody loves Ego. Remember that was the one that was fifth on the totem pole for me when the whole EP came out? But I knew that was gonna be the one that's gonna be the hit because I am not good at picking music. As much as I know music, I am not good at picking music. It takes a while for music to grow on me. And I know that the other ones grew pretty quickly because I've heard them over and over again. So it didn't grow quickly. I've heard them for 18 months. But Monday grew quickly because of the, the tempo of it. But Ego was just like, what is this song about? Is it about weed? What is this song about? <laughs> And every musician love it. Anybody that's worth their salt in music or whatever, love it, okay? So I knew that was gonna be the hit right away. I knew that I was wrong. So anyways, Sherry loves ego. So I asked her to just go ahead and tweet it out, Instagram it out, whatever she does, cause she's got clout. Cause I don't think Sherry realizes what clout she has. So um, she did one better. I don't know if she tweeted it out yet. She is gonna contact her producer cousin you know the one where we're friends with the spouse we're friends with the spouse but we're not really friends with him and she's gonna send it to him i know for a fact he's heard the songs already because we sent it to the spouse but she's gonna send it to him this evening and say hey why don't you feature her in uh, um what i was gonna say author um give me the word i'm looking for joe artist Ar artist feature artist artist spotlight on the channel that he works for because he's a producer so we don't know what's gonna come of that, but can you guys lift that up in prayer, please, my darlings? Please lift it up. Because we really need this thing to get out. It's been a month, and um, Jada's looking kind of slacky already. When she's going to work, she's like, oh God, from 11 to eight, mom. And she says, the work is not hard. It's really not hard, but it's the hours, and you're on your feet, and then you kind of want to use the bathroom, and you can't use the bathroom when you want to, and then, you have to eat when they say, not when you're hungry. And it's, 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 yeah. it's, um, I don't want to say it's rough because it's not rough yet, but it's, she's seeing the, the difficulties of working for, working for somebody versus being self employed because that comes with its, with its own set of nightmares, too, you know. 
but um she's doing it because she wants to um get this thing off the ground and she has to have money to help colin so let me tell you what's going on with my website again guys you know i built that website through wordpress and i signed up with ipage i paid them 50 something dollars i guess it was 250 a month for three years it might have been more than that that i paid them i don't know if they prorate it back if i leave them in any case i figured that money's dead and gone but it's not working for me. Honestly, it's not working. I have all these beautiful bags that you have not seen at my site for sale because I can't put it on. Every time I take the picture, if I hold the phone and take the picture this way, which is profile, or turn the camera this way, which is profile, it can't flip the picture straight for me. And I can't do landscape pictures like this with the phone or the camera because you'll see all these edges that I don't want you to see that's outside of the picture. So it doesn't want to flip. So I Googled it finally because it's been that way for like three weeks. And it says I need a plugin. I went and downloaded the plugin and activated it. That one doesn't work anymore because that's from 2016. Downloaded another one. That one doesn't work. Ex I don't know. I, it's so confusing. And every time I cry out to my children for help, nobody can help because nobody understands building websites. Except for Colin except for Colin and the only thing Colin understands is building a website through Shopify and Shopify is $30 a month so I'm like god I might have to bite the bullet and try to do this so he came over today what a sweetheart he gave me so much of his time today and he started to build my website for me in Shopify I can see where I could get it I can really see where I could get it but he, he gave me so much information today that I'm kind of lost now that he left. But it's not as hard as WordPress, let me tell you that much. So um, I still have to convert my pictures in some other program. And I suppose I could go convert the picture, pictures in that program and put it on the website I'm running now. But Colin insists that Shopify is going to be best for me because I can also do print on demand. Which means I could just upload my logo and apply it to anything I want phone cases mugs t-shirts hoodies shower curtains whatever they have maybe tights whatever they have i can put my logo or put one of joshua's art you could do joshua's art oh you're cold baby where well, you getting all the cold over there and i'm not getting none and uh just do, do do something to have more items to sell because i really need to let this um online store work for me because that's my income right now along with youtube is the online store because you all know we don't have income from the cars so I, I, I'm getting one free month from Colin and I'm not going to promote my Etsy store anymore at my cooking channel because I could be prom promoting my own website. I'm selling exactly what I'm selling at my website is what I'm selling at Etsy. And I thought by going with Etsy would open me to a whole new audience of people instead of just the people that I know through YouTube. And I suppose it will eventually but that's gonna have to get promoted on its own because every time you see me promote anything at facebook twitter instagram and my website or my youtube channel it's gonna be me or jada um it's not gonna be etsy because that needs to do its thing and open some more organic views i have to make a video still that julie asked me to make i julie i wasn't able to make it because every time i sat down to make that video i would have noises around the house and it's just crazy I really need a room where I could just lock myself away and, and do what I need to do because I have to do it at the dinner table or at that little spot on the couch or anyways I'll get it done sometime between today and tomorrow Joe is gonna go to the um, um tell me again where Joe junkyard Joe's gonna go to the junkyard today maybe that's my opportunity to record what I need to record because the house will be empty Joshua's gone Jada's gone oh yes that's my chance the dogs are barking and making a noise I'll just bring them inside so you guys won't notice a difference at my website you'll still go to bearpantershow.com but when it's done you'll notice different products like I'll have some print on demand products and I guess the shipping will work differently too where I can print my shipping labels at home and not have to go wait in line at the post office so I won't have to see that Indian girl yes Jesus <laughs> I'm telling you guys Joe is like catnip for these women out here this uh, black girl came into the post office she has bald head, but she was pretty, right, Joe? Her um, um, the the bald head match with her. She's real pretty, real pretty smile, and she grinning from ears to like what Belize Papuda said. I'm not saying it, cause my baby Xander watching from ears to ears <laughs> to. Oh, I, 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 don't say. It. <laughs> 
at Joe. I said, look at this. I was smiling. You know what? I was laughing. I said, Joe, look, 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 Joe. Look, she like you. She like you. Like <laughs> and you. When I went in, Joe was checking the P.O. box and Pat was like, where's Joe? I'm like, he taking a long time. I said, some woman must have picked him up out there. I'd so said, so done. <laughs> Joe, the girl is driving a Benz. What you going to do, Joe? That's she got money. That doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> That's an uh, Why the O3 Benz don't work nothing? No, no matter. Because only about $2,300. Joe could buy the O3 Benz at $2,300. <laughs> so if the girl was driving at 2018, girl, it was so. Uh, you guys, you guys, I know you always think that I'm teasing. I don't know why I don't get no looks. Or maybe I get looks and I just don't see it because I keep a straight tight face because I don't want nobody to play with me okay this thing's falling hold on guys so every time it's always Joe Joe check the PO box he went back to the truck to put the, the junk mail in the truck and then the girl was coming out the car with her friend or sister or somebody she was with somebody huh oh I didn't see the other person how old the other person was because I only saw her grinning face an older person and so I didn't see her until I paid and I was leaving and she just smiled like sh her smile lit up the whole room she looked at you like ah. i wanted to tell her this man all yeah. this man to all for your girl i never knew she was going to smile because i went against you i thought maybe not a smile but joe, <laughs> joe said <laughs> he thought that joe said the girl was smiling since he went to the car and they arrived at the same time he was going back to the door and so Joe thought she was gonna stop smiling when she, when she saw him walk out with me, but she she was still grinning. She was just like, she looked at me like, girl, I'm done with the swirl, girl. <laughs> so I told Joe, I said, oh, I see you got a new girlfriend. I said, she pretty though. She she was real pretty. She had a pretty smile, and that ball head. She rocked that ball head because I can't rock no ball head because I have a big indent right here in my head. My mom had the same thing. It looks like a horse kicked me in there. Don't know why. I think my mom dropped me on my head. <laughs> oh lord let me go back to listen to mr mr y'all oh it's getting kind of chilly huh inside the house is hot but out yet chilly you don't know yet but it's the right part though right yeah awesome jaya should Thank the Lord for a daddy like you. I picked me a good one. Just saying. See, this is <laughs> this is the mirror that somebody stuck on. Joe, I told Helen about your girlfriend at the post office. Helen says she don't blame the girl. She knows a good thing when she sees it. <laughs> Uh, let me go inside and talk to my people then we're gonna leave for the gym we're going to the gym right right boo see my blessing guys voila four new to me tires i say they're new to me because they're not brand new but they're in great shape something's flying in here guys must be that thing joke on me yesterday right now it is tuesday march the 13th open the door quick Whatever you threw at me yesterday is still flying around. You got it. You got it? Oh, Lord. I'm afraid of bugs. Do you like them color when they like paint them building with an orange, brown, green? They're ugly, huh? <laughs> when we get back, guys, I'm going to show you, or when we stop, I'm going to show you the tires that Joe picked up yesterday for $50 at the um, junkyard. I call them new to me tires because they're not brand new but they're new to me let me tell you i was gonna go buy two used tires to put on the front and put the front ones in the back so that's a blessing to get four tires for 50 bucks so we're heading down to osley right now not gonna stay very long because i have a lot to accomplish today i have to go to target to buy eyeliner just in case um shanika wants to know what eyeliner because shanika coupons <laughs> the nyx and this is mechanical let me show you it's down to nothing down to nothing so i can't put anything on my eyes and then it makes me look like i'm sick and then y'all gonna start saying oh barbara's sick you know that's why she's losing all that weight though it's not because she's monitoring her calories it's because she's sick you know people start spreading rumors right away not you guys but i'm saying some trolls that watch my channel <laughs> and then this is the um 
I guess eyeliner too I guess this is the kind that has a little brush thingy like that and you I put it on top of my eyelid so I'm out completely so I have to go to Target to buy this because they don't sell it at Walmart this is the NYX brand this is the only thing that don't break me out with the eye issues yeah so um I'm taking my bags that I made over to the home where Osley stay hoping that the ladies might be interested but you know what these people are always broke the minute they get paid on a Thursday, you go there on a Friday, they broke. I'm like, good Lord. What's it, what, does, what, what do these people do with their money? You know, Joe says they have bills. I mean, I got bills too, but I don't have a steady income. So last night I was really feeling a type of way. I was just like frustrated and fed up. And I last night I canceled my live. My live that I'm gonna to do today, I canceled it last night. I'm, like, I'm not doing the lives anymore. I'm tired of it. It takes a lot of energy out of me. And um, for what reward? I'm telling Joe, for what reward? I said, you guys don't help me. Joe's been dodging the lives for the past couple of weeks. And then he says, oh, I have a headache. But he, he goes to the gym though. Then he comes back and he goes, I have a headache. I'm like, no, you don't get to dodge your life. People like to see you too, Joe. They like to see Josh. They like to see everybody interact. You know, and everybody's been dodging and just doing them. I'm like, okay, then I quit. I quit. So last night I completely quit, but today I'm back on the job. So <laughs> I'm being a Trump. <laughs> Anyways, y'all see, Rex Tillerson, the one that called him an effing moron, got fired this morning. The man came and talked. The man was breathless. Did y'all notice the man was, <sighs> and that man rich, that man is an oil tycoon and he really loved that job and wanted that job and that fool fired him in a tweet that man has no respect no regard he forgets that one day he will not be president no matter how long it takes if it takes till good friday because i'm giving him till good friday for Mueller to come out with the stuff if it takes till april if it takes till june if it takes the four years because god i hope it does not take four years i hope this man does not get in again i'm gonna be too old to see this man gone you know oh no Oh no, I don't even want to fathom that. But anyways, he forgets that one day he won't be president and he will need these rich people in his lives, these people that he's cutting down and burning down. And I'm telling you, he is making entities everywhere he goes. Yeah, be crazy. Yeah. 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 No, man, I want to go out and walk and, and all them walk and run and all that stuff. You start to walk? Run, walk, I remember you, I you, no, it's when I used to walk everywhere, my mom, I ride a bicycle. Walk down there sometime and go up to Home Depot and walk up Yeah, there. you're crazy. <laughs> I used to ride the bike too, my mom. That's exercise, yeah, I used to ride the bike sometimes. You know that, you know that white man still, they walk over the Palm Valley? Yeah. You're my good marketer, you know that? <laughs> what, you did? Mm -hmm. Man. What was your line of work that I knew you said you worked with children? What did you do? Oh, I was a teacher and I could work from kindergarten to seventh grade. Oh, wow. Every day they tell me I could teach them. So you don't want to see no kids right now, huh? No, I love <laughs> you still love them? Yeah. <laughs> I had the patience. I was thinking about a little boy this morning. Uh huh. His name was Charles. Okay. And he had a family difficulty. They didn't have money. Or stuff. What grade was he in when you had him? So the teachers, uh, he was in the second grade. Uh huh. And the teachers, they didn't want to sit close to him because his clothes were smelly and he was smelling. Uh huh. And so, of course, I was the kind of person that that didn't bother me. Right. So I would go and work with him. The so one day, Charles. Doing this puzzle, yeah. <clears throat> he turned it over and showed me he could do it from the back. Really? And I always asked, I wonder what Charles is doing. He was that. sharp, huh? He can do a puzzle from the back. That's right. And uh, I said, you know, people should be very careful. Uh huh. How you judge, right? Because you can't tell. Uh huh. Bye, Rosie, my darling. I'll see you on Friday when I come back. Oh, you guys have some kind of lasagna, huh? Looks good. 
Nah, you know I'm behaving myself with this food thing. <laughs> I'm being a good girl. Thank you, though. Did you want I just, I just tell you all the time, you go to see Nelson, you can't pass in this test. <laughs> my wife too, she can't pass in this test. Can't. You can't yeah. parallel park. Mm. See your partner right here? You can't park, park, can <laughs> can't park, park yeah. parallel. Me can't do that. But let me tell you something. <laughs> Coming back Friday, okay? Alright. Alright, bye. Ozzy looking good, right guys? The belly didn't get any bigger, so that gives me a lot of hope. Because when mommy had that ascites or ascites, her belly would grow like every couple of days. So it didn't get any bigger. So, um, you guys saw the girlfriend reveal. The girlfriend was the white lady that was sitting next to Osley at the dinner table. She has all her hair missing from here because she has a scar. Like, she probably had the same thing Osley had, some type of aneurysm. But that's the sweet thing, Miss Brenda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, can you tell the story on camera or that's a story for me or you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so scared to hear this story right now, guys. No, no, no. no. That, that's the same. Uh huh. He ain't enough for him room. He ain't enough for him room. Only here one next person there, right? Uh huh. You ain't coming. You're not coming. You know the light. Oh lot, Brenda gone to the room in the night. You see, Brenda, you know what? I'm going to have you better take off your pants. Gone to Asli better take off Asli pants? Take off her pants. Her pants. She can't get in a no bed. She paralyzed from one side. That's the worst song like lie. You said, you said, but... You said, the people up on the point, like, you said, I don't tell her she come by herself to me, no. You said, I never do nothing with her because she got all kind of stuff uh -huh. wrong with her, with her different stuff. We have to train because, you know, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know you think you think Brenda could get out of that wheelchair by itself? I don't know. He said they call in the office and crush that here. He said he tell them we got no. He said they tell ask Brenda, Brenda said, I got it by myself. I just said because you know I guess there be no trouble. Oh Lord, scandal! Scandal! <laughs> Did you guys hear what he said? Brenda went down to the room, took off her pants and got in the bed with Osley? Mm -hmm. So they have to question Osley and Brenda. Mmm, child. Mmm, child. I don't believe the story. I'll tell you why. I don't think Brenda could get out of the wheelchair. Brenda can't move her whole left side. Well, I don't know. I just tell what she tell me. Mmm, child. Me know why I had that. Let's go, let's go. Scandal. That is scandalous. <laughs> We're going to Tarje. We can go buy my thing. What happened now? We decided we're gonna stop home first and eat before we go to Target but Joe is going over to that tire place to see how much they're gonna charge to mount the tires onto the rim. So here's the Nyx aisle. Okay Joe. I usually send Jada for this stuff you know because I don't know what I'm doing here. And do worse. <laughs> when the kids were little they didn't have any Walmart in town. Person, no, so I used to bring the kids here to eat. What? We do not take your truck and do what? What kind of bush thing is that? But no? Take out the air. Let's say a puncture. Take out the air out of the. Out of the tire, right? Out of those tires. This one right here. Wait, wait, wait. You take it out of the new tires? The old one. Out of the old tires that's okay, on the car. Yeah, you take it off the rim. You can take them off the rim? Yeah. That's how you're going to take them off the rim? Mm -hmm. You're going to let the air out? Let the air out. Uh huh. You have to break it from around the rim. If you don't got that to use on mile, mm -hmm. now walk, knock it, knock it till it break. Okay. Take what I So what did you say about Jory's truck? I was kind of lost just now. Take Jory's truck. Uh huh. You run it on the side of the tire. You broke it. It's, so it, it work like the machine when they use. Oh, that's crazy, man. I'm telling you, MacGyver. MacGyver is at an all-time crazy today. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's like the machine is using for breaking. It's like when, when he tell us when he used to break in house, then throw a, a, a pair of pants on the back of the horse. They, they stuff the pant leg with stuff though to make it seem like so, it's a human being. Oh, it's sand. They put in the pant leg to make it seem like it's a human being jumping on the horse because you know the horses get spooked. And that's what you keep doing, throwing that on them, throwing that on them. Then you, when you can finally get on their backs, you take them into water, right? Because they can't jump and, and fight you. And I said, Lord have mercy, this man comes from Bush. 
Bushman. But you my sweet Bushman though. <laughs> That's where daddy come from, Bush. City life cramp my style. City life cramp your style? Yeah. We should go somewhere where they have farm then, huh? We need to be where the cows are roaming in there. Some men always want the farm. Not me. So this over here is in the southern part of our city. I haven't shown you guys my meal in a while. This is a tuna patty with that red leaf lettuce, peppers and tomato and some onions. See? This is the whole tin of tuna, okay? So we do one and a half, one and a half. And all I did was put an egg, some spices, and a little bit of flour. And I just kind of let it simmered in about a tablespoon of olive oil. This is dinner today. Well, Joe sews. Yeah, daddy, in a kimono. Get that, Papa.